true. I felt a sense of displacement as some arcane sorcery transported me away. This was truly an ancient ruin of a vampire civilization. Perhaps here I would finally decipher the riddle of my destiny. Throughout these ruins, I found murals depicting the seminal events of vampire history. These scenes commemorated a great war between the ancient vampires and their rivals. In triumph, they banished their adversaries from the world and raised the pillars as the lock that binds them. The image of the Reva was inscribed throughout this place, always depicted with reverence. The vampire's holy weapon was destined to be borne by their prophesied hero, for whom it was forged. But if this was my destiny, why had the Reaver tried to consume me? This scene depicted the appointment of the original vampire guardians, each summoned to serve when the pillars were raised. Each guardian is aligned to the principle of the pillar he serves, and the balance guardian is the axis of them all. In their defeat, the vampire's enemy retaliated with a terrible curse, afflicting the vampires with a bloodthirst that turned their once noble race into ravenous predators. This curse plunged the vampires into despair and apparently drove many to madness and self-annihilation. What was it that so devastated them that they were driven to suicide? I sought to unravel the mystery of my fate, and in this image lay my first clue. For this scene depicted the forging of the Reva, the weapon destined to become my prison, and I recognized its maker. The years had changed him, but this was unmistakably the vampire Vorador, and in this era, he still lived. If I could reach him before Mobius's mob hunted him down, he would provide the answers I sought. These images chronicled Vorador's creation, as I already knew, he had not been born a vampire, but had been turned by the infamous Janos Ordren. But this mural suggested that Vorador's origins were even more significant. Apparently, he was the first human to whom the Dark Gift had been passed. This was the vampire's desperate bid to preserve their bloodline, for their enemies had cursed them not only with bloodthirst, but with sterility as well. Once again, I beheld the pillars of Nosgoth, crumbling in decay now, following the corruption of the Circle. Here I would find Ariel, the specter of the murdered Balance Guardian, and the last pure, undefiled member of the Guardian Circle. Bound here upon her death, she was doomed to haunt these pillars until her successor fulfilled his terrible duty, and Balance was restored. What manner of creature approaches? I know you well, Ariel, though you do not yet know me. I have no time for riddles, strange one. All you have is time. I have come to seek your guidance. I counsel only one man, and you are not he. But you will know him soon. The contagion of your kind is coming to an end. My kind? What exactly do you think I am? Your name shall remain unspoken, as decreed by our ancestors. You serve the one who so brutally took my life and set this tragedy in motion. But even now, hope is at work. Balance will be restored, and your kind will be expelled forever. You have pinned your hopes on Cain. He will disappoint you. <sighs> What can you know of Cain? More than you could ever fathom. He will do what he must when the time comes. By choosing his own death. A sacrifice for the world. You don't know Cain very well. I know what he is called to do. My faith sustains me. Is it faith or fear? You know that if Cain refuses the sacrifice, you will never leave here. And you begin to suspect... I will not hear your poison, fiend. Grant me the answers I require, and I will leave you to your pathetic delusions. Ask, then, 
I seek the vampire Vorador. To kill him, perhaps. Or to join him in death. But for Cain, he is the last of his kind. Mobius's mob has done its work. My reasons are my own. His refuge lies in the heart of the Black Forest. And may you molder there together until the end comes. Vorador's refuge was hidden deep within the Black Forest. If the old vampire still lived, he alone could tell me how to escape the terrible destiny charted for me when the Reaver was forged. I hope to find him before Mobius's cutthroats did.